Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Bhutan. We had breakfast here at home, I had some oatmeal and then I drank some coffee and some tea which was good. Today we are going to go to the Thai Embassy because I have some Thai visa issues that I need to take care of and we are going to take a taxi there and then after that this afternoon we are going to a hotel and we're going to meet a chef and we're going to learn how to cook and I hope we're going to eat some Bhutanese and maybe some Indian food. You just got to love the dogs in Bhutan. There's a dog just chilling up there on the side of the fence. And then this is a dog that everyone calls Crazy Dog, who just roams around and he often kind of attacks people. Today he's looking kind of friendly though. Okay, let's move on. Do you know the Thai Embassy? Thailand, Thailand Embassy? We are in a taxi now on our way to the Thailand Consulate. I love these little taxis in Timpu. They are really small and very cozy. I'm not even sure if they're Toyotas or Suzukis, uh, but they are great for just kind of rolling around the city and going up and down the hills. Okay, that was perhaps the quietest and the smallest Thai embassy that I have ever been to anywhere in the world. Actually, that's just a consulate. So we got that taken care of. We have a little bit of time now before we need to do anything else. So I think we're gonna start walking back home from here. Uh, it wasn't too far, but we gotta walk up the mountain a little bit, uh, but we'll get a little morning exercise. We're walking up the hill now, and I can definitely feel that elevation. Whew, that feels good. I don't know exactly where we are, but we are somewhere walking up the mountain following just kind of a hiking path. And this is Timpu, but the road really winds around and curves, so they have all these shortcuts that are, yeah, basically like hiking paths. Hello. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. What is your name? My name is Ogen Tingamal. Oh, very good. Are you, are you walking to school? Yes. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> it is getting to be lunchtime, so we are walking back down towards the center of Timpu and we are going to the Druk Hotel where we're going to meet a chef and that's where we're going to eat as well. Walking down the hill, we just stopped at a little shop. We saw some stalks of bananas, and bananas look great. All these are little guys, just bite-sized. That sun really makes all the difference. The sun is out right now, and it's it's really warm. Uh, but if you go in the shade or when there's no sun, oh, of course, right as I say that, the cloud blocks the sun. Okay. Wow, that's incredibly good. They are a little bit sour and really creamy. Great little bananas. They're almost like custardy. Oh, I think that's a one biter. Yep, one bite. We made it. The Druk Hotel is down below there, and this whole square is one of the main. Uh, squares of central Timpu. Uh, we're waiting for Dechen who's gonna meet us here and then I think we're gonna meet the chef and cook something. He's our executive chef. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Really nice kitchen back here and this restaurant is famous for serving Indian food uh, but also Bhutanese food and Western food. They have the full spectrum and we met with the chef and he is gonna teach us how to cook something. Chef just introduced all the ingredients to me. Uh, everything sounds fantastic. A couple of different cheeses, and then what I really love is all the different variety of chilies, both dried chilies and fresh chilies, and the chilies are gonna be used as a actual vegetable instead of just a seasoning. The first dish we're making is called kewa datsi, which is gonna be potatoes and 
cheese. And then Chef is also starting on uh, chicken curry, Bhutanese chicken curry. He bumped up that heat, a little bit of water. Oh, okay. Onions and garlic in the water so far. And this is the paprika type, Bhutanese local chili powder. Oh, okay. Same, it's very similar like chili flake, very similar like paprika. Okay. Bit of this. In goes the dry, Bhutanese dry chili flakes. Quite uh, stiff. Yeah, that is sun-dried pork. Yes. And it, it is, what, is it from the pork belly? Or just? No, it's a belly part, yes. It's the belly part? That's why okay. it contains a lot of Yeah, fat. you can see that is yeah. just all Easy. fat and sun-dried. Okay, so we have three dishes going on the stove now. Yes, yes. And this one is the, the datsi, right? Okay. This is uh, chicken curry, and then over here is gonna be the the dry pork, sun dried pork. Okay, this is the Bhutanese cheese, which is called datsi. And it is a very, very common cheese in Bhutanese cuisine. Um, and it's gonna be added to the potatoes. So this one is for emma datsi. Oh, okay, so we're now making emma datsi with a bunch of different chilies sliced up. And then Bhutanese cheese and cheddar cheese, a pinch of salt. And good amount of butter. And a good amount of butter. Yes. Oh yes. Now is my favorite part of cooking, which is the eating. And we are all sitting down to have a big Bhutanese feast. This is the Sikimpa, which is uh, pork belly, the sun-dried pork belly, uh, with lots of dried chili. I love how they cook just uh, the entire dried chilies stem on and everything and lots of chilies and ginger and garlic in here. I will serve myself. Yeah, really, that's, that's basically bacon, Bhutanese bacon. The salad and there are cucumbers in here, there are tomatoes and onions and then it is, the, he sprinkled on some of the Bhutanese cheese and it's called hoge. Gwen hoge. Bhutanese cucumber salad. This is the kewadatsi which is uh, potato and cheese and butter and chilies. This could almost be compared to like scallop potatoes. Emadatsi. This is the cheese with uh, chilies. And then finally the last dish, this is the chicken curry. Yes, this is Bhutanese cooked. chicken curry. Bhutanese chicken curry. Oh, and that ginger. I'm gonna grab that ginger chunk. Get one more piece of chicken. Okay, and a little more Hopefully of that, a little more of that gravy. Okay, I'm gonna begin with that chicken curry that we cooked and saw all those ingredients going in and it smelled incredibly good. I can, oh, ginger. Let me break a piece of that chicken off. And then that dry chili as well that the chef added. Okay, mix it with some rice. Mmm, oh, I got a little bone. Really nice and gingery. You can taste the garlic in there, you can taste the, the light dry chili, and then it's, it's a mild curry, but really, the flavors are really nicely yeah. blended. That bacony pork with that dried chili. Let me break off a, a piece, and oh, yeah, those whole chilies are beautiful things. Stem and all. Okay, I have to fold that chili to get it on my spoon. It's a bit steep, actually. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That whole chili is delicious. And then that meat, it has some texture to it. Uh, it's very fatty, but it's not like a, like a wriggly fat. It's a like tough fat, almost like jerky style from being sun-dried. Now I'm moving on to the cheese and mix that up with a little bit of rice. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's so cheesy. You can taste the fragrance of that butter and then, yeah, that's just like a, a really thick cheese sauce. Oh. The cucumbers are really crisp and the crumpled cheese just gives it a tiny cheese richness to it. We just finished with lunch at the Druk. That was a good meal and also good to just hang out and we talked for a while. It's now, yeah, it's now just late afternoon but it's already getting dark and cold. 
we're gonna walk around for a little bit and then actually we had Bhutanese food for lunch but we're gonna have Indian food for lunch for dinner in a couple hours back at the Drew Hotel again and the Drew Hotel is really famous uh, many Bhutanese and even Indian tourists come to the Drew Hotel to eat Indian food we are getting lucky being here in Bhutan and tomorrow there is a football match between Bhutan and Qatar so we just stopped in this little shop bought tickets and tomorrow 6 p.m. which I will be vlogging uh, Bhutan will play Qatar so this is gonna be a lot of fun. We just stopped by a shop and bought a big bag of fruit. We got some guavas, some apples, some... Oh, and a couple of pears, I think, and a couple of pomegranates. And a nice big fruit store, lots of, lots of good green, lots of good colorful fruit. So we are back at the Drew Hotel for dinner tonight and they serve, at dinner time, they serve an Indian buffet and I'm hanging out with the My Bhutan crew with Matt and Karma over there. I really want to try the Amritsari fish which looks like a bhajia and it smells like a bhajia but they are pieces of fish so I think this can be picked up and eaten. <laughs> that is like a fish bajia. Or it almost tastes like a fish pakora. I think it's called karahi paneer. Bell peppers it looks like, as well as onions, as well as other peppers, and then and then the paneer, the cheese. What I like about it is it's not too buttery or not too oily. Um, but it just has a pleasant flavor. I really thought we were only eating the buffet tonight, but Chef Kundu, who is the head chef, has just surprised us with an, an entire spread of Indian food uh, as second course. And this is not the buffet, these are just special dishes. A mutton curry, which I didn't even tell him mutton curry is one of my favorite things to eat in the entire world. There's some okra, there's some biryani to top everything off. Not just naan, not just buttered naan, but cheese naan. Okay, I'm gonna try to debone a, wait, let me try to debone a piece. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that is the dish of the evening. Oh, mutton. It's just one of the most beautiful things ever. The meat is tender, the curry is a really beautiful blend of spices. The naan is really good just because it's so fluffy. And then with cheese on it, and then with those spices, that is so rich and flavorful. Mmm. And then, like caramelized onions in there. Mm-hmm. You can really taste the cardamom in there really nicely. We are rolling out of the Druk Hotel right now. That was a lot of good food today, and I am full. Uh, the ending last surprise meal from the chef, and especially that mutton curry, along with the cheese naan. Oh, that was really, really good. So a huge thank you to Dilu, who is the general manager, as well as uh, Chef Kundu for their, yeah, just for their generosity and all of that food today. We're gonna head home from here, probably catch a taxi, because we are full and it's cold, and so, I'm gonna end the vlog now. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also leave a comment below. Tomorrow, actually I'm not even sure what we're doing. Oh, but we are going to the um, football match tomorrow. So I will see you all tomorrow for the next day in Bhutan.